Athena? Oh, no. Have you heard from Adrian? No, that boy we came here, we thought maybe you heard from him. No, I haven't spoken to him since he left for Chechnya. Listen, don't give up hope. That doesn't mean anything. We don't even know if he's there yet or not. I'm sure once he finds Jacob, he'll contact Jillian. Oh, Take deep breaths, okay? Really deep. Jillian? Here, sweetie. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I fainted. No, don't be. I'm okay. okay. Um, I, I, I didn't sleep much last night, and I skipped breakfast. Um, I'm fine. I'm, you sure? Yeah. Yeah. You go. You go to work. I know you have a really full day. Listen. I know that Jake is coming back to us. I'm sure of it. He wants a life with you too much to do anything stupid. I'll make sure she's okay. I appreciate that. Thanks, Tina. Jillian? He is coming home. I know it. You know, one of the toughest things to take is our own powerlessness. And when you love someone and they're sick or in danger, and there is nothing that you can do but just sit by and wait, nothing's harder. But that is where your love and your faith take over. And those are the kind of things that can sustain you. No, this is all my fault, Trevor, and Julia, all of it. Would... No, if Jake... If something happens to Jake, it's because of me. Do you want to talk about it? You're in a lot of pain, Jillian. You don't have to carry this alone. You really believe that talking about your problems make, makes it better? We know firsthand that sitting on it doesn't work. You know, we don't really know each other, and I just want you to know that it won't hurt my feelings if you speak to someone else about this. But uh, you should open up somewhere. I mean, whatever this is, it's tearing you up. And if, forgive me, but it's clear to me that this is about a lot more than your husband's safety. I'm not that, you know, religious. I can speak to you ab about this without bringing religion into it all, if, if that's what you want. I told you something. You don't have to worry. Whatever you say to me goes no further than right here. It's okay, Jillian. Yeah, really. It is. totally in love with my first husband. So I've been in torment for months. Do you now understand? There you go. Sure. I have something to do in the kids' library, so just give me a call if you need me. Thanks, Tina. Sure. 
And thank you for being so honest with me uh, about your marriages. I, I hope it helped to say all of that out loud. Yeah, I did, I guess. You've been carrying quite a burden. What do you mean? Your secrets. It's very heavy. I know. I can't imagine that you have secrets weighing you down. Did you give it all up when you choose to follow God? Oh, I try to give up on the guilt every day, but I just don't seem to be very good in actually letting it go. Guilt is a pretty powerful emotion. Do you believe in retribution? Uh-oh. Is this a fire and brimstone question? I've just caused Jake so much pain and... Maybe he's hurt now as my punishment for loving someone else. The God that I pray to is not a vindictive God. That's all that I can tell you, Jillian. I just feel like I've caused Jake more pain. You know what? Every, every, every day that you're alive, you make a thousand choices. And they have all these consequences, some much bigger than others. The learning starts when you look at your choices and you see how high a price you have to pay for them. And then you can decide which choices you don't want to make. So you've learned from your mistakes? Yes, I have. And I'm... I'm working to make up for them still. That's what I pray for, actually. The chance to... to make up for what I can. Maybe you should do some praying, too. I mean, for yourself. Hey, speaking of drop in. Oh, hey, why not time? Barely. Barely, barely. Okay, I'm not going to waste any of your time. Not so here. No, thank you. But proposals and projections for this fiscal year at Incredible Dreams, as you will see, is going to make us all very rich. I'm already rich. Yes, I know. <laughs> but you can never have too much money, right? Let me show you. Okay. That's it. I have complete confidence in this business plan. Well, you should. Dad's right, it's foolproof. I'm impressed. Good. Impressed enough to invest $11 million? Yes. yes. Seriously? Make us look like geniuses, all right? I will. I absolutely will. I have to get Vanderpool on, on the horn here and fill him in on this. Well, I'll tell Alfred that we'll wire him the money by close business tomorrow. Well, you two certainly came through for me, and I will not forget that. Neither will we. Do you realize that we just gave a former con man the gross national product of a third world nation on spec? I know. But I gotta be honest. I think it's a good idea. He reminds me of me. You know, he reminds me of you, too. What? And me, in the old days. In the old days? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about in the old days? We're still pulling cons. Nailing this company was the biggest con there is. Mm. Matter of fact, to me. <laughs> Money. Oh, and lots of it. Salud. Salud. Hey. Lily, what is it? Is something wrong? No, I saw you toasting. I thought maybe you heard from Jake. Oh, no, no, honey, I'm sorry. That was something else. That was just business. We're still waiting to hear from Adrian, and that's going to take a while. I, I'm sure Jake is all right. I mean, maybe no news is the best news at this point. Would you excuse me for all of your things? Certainly. Yeah. Why don't you have a seat? Thank you. Thank you, Eugenia. I'm sorry about that, but I really, really need to ask you, you a favor. Sure. What? I need a favor. You're just going to have to try to keep yourself dizzy, okay? Mm -hmm. I am. Oh, dear, will you excuse me, Julian? I need your help. Oh, sure, darling. Oh. Will you will you keep in touch about Jake if you hear anything? Definitely. Thank you. Julian. Oh, 
Julian, I don't trust the sommelier here. Would you go down into the cellar and bring up a bottle of, uh, let's see, Chateau La Grange 88? You want me to do that? Well, yes, I mean, he was very impertinent. I'm sure he wouldn't do what I want. Uh, you don't mind, do you? No, no, no. Good. You're right. <laughs> I'm splendid. Just as splendid as you're going to be when you go and get the Chateau La Grange 88. Go on. Oh, could I speak to you for a moment? Would you ask the sommelier to come up here? Sure. Thank you. Hello? I'm looking for the sommelier. Hello? you to get you down here but I didn't want Ted to see us see each other and then for us to disappear you know grandmother would do anything you ask of her are you uh are you mad at me no no of course not any um any word from Jack? No, and uh, we haven't heard anything from Adrian since he left for Chechnya, so we're still in the dark. Well, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, Julian. Yeah, me too. Um, Ryan, I'm really sorry. I thought by now I would have told Jake about us, but... His family, especially his mother and father, is just really terrible. Oh, I, I know, I know, no, don't you dare be sorry. That's way more important. You just have to take care of yourself right now, okay? Have you, um, told Queenie yet about us? No. No, but I, I definitely put her off. She won't be bothering me anymore. I hope. I want to touch you. Well, if you do... Even just for one minute. I love you, princess. Love you too. I do. I'm late. My meeting ran over. Yeah, have you heard anything from Adrian? No, I thought you had. I thought that's why you called me. Well, just don't worry about it. I'm sure Adrian will get in touch with us as soon as he knows anything about Jake. Well, he hasn't called, so it can be good. Well, you got to keep the faith, honey. I'm telling you, the men in this family are indestructible. I mean, look at me. I went off a bridge. I wandered around for two years before I found my way home. He's right. He's right. He did. And Jake will come back to us, too. So you're going to go back to the hospital? Your mom and I are going to spend the day at home. I, I think it's going to be easier on her. Probably. When I go back to work, call as soon as you know anything. Okay? Yeah, yeah, you too. Julian, would you mind? I, I want to uh, check in with the hospital. Hang in there, Father. Yeah, we will. We will. Dad, is there anything I can do for Ruth and Joe? Yeah. Pray. That's all I've been doing since the helicopter went down. Julia, have you seen Ryan today? 
No. Well, yesterday when we were here, I could have sworn I saw you two talking to each other. Oh, yeah, I, just, I ran into him. Well, I, I just wondered maybe, you know, you might know where he is this morning. No, he was excited about the business deal he was pitching you and Liza. I hope it worked out. Well, it definitely worked out for uh, Brian, but the jury's still out for the rest of us. I better get going. I, I'll try to stay positive. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sure wherever Jake is, he's thinking of you. Get in. Can I drop you someplace? No, thanks. I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Be strong. Don't even think about worst-case scenarios. You just have faith that Jake will be back with us soon. Thank you. And don't worry about me. Well, that comes with the territory. Besides, Jake would want us to look after you. I hope God is looking out for Jake.